Hong Kong Central Bank unveils sandbox for stablecoin issuers to test operations. Shailini Nagarajan last updated March 12, 2024, 738 EDT1 Min Read. Source, Midjourney Hong Kong Central Bank on Tuesday introduced a sandbox program for stablecoin issuers. This initiative offers a controlled environment for potential issuers to experiment with stablecoin projects in a risk-free manner. A regulatory sandbox is an environment where companies are permitted to test new financial products or services under relaxed conditions. Within the sandbox, businesses have the freedom to test various aspects of their operations such as stablecoin issuance processes, business models, investor protection measures, and risk management systems, all while being supervised by regulators. Hong Kong's primary goal through the sandbox is to bolster the growth of the virtual asset ecosystem within the region, a platform for testing stablecoin regulation. The Sandbox launch follows the Hong Kong Monetary Authority's HKMA consultation in December to gather feedback on regulating issuers. It aims to convey supervisory expectations and compliance guidance to entities interested in issuing fee preference stablecoins in Hong Kong. Additionally, it seeks feedback on proposed regulatory requirements to ensure their suitability before implementing the regulatory regime. Applicants for the Sandbox should genuinely aim to develop a stablecoin business in Hong Kong with a feasible plan. Being admitted to the sandbox doesn't imply HKMA endorsement or qualification for regulation. Licensing bills on the horizon. Hong Kong is striving to establish itself as a leading crypto hub while facing competition from other jurisdictions. Last month, plans surfaced indicating the government's intent to introduce licensing bills for regulating stablecoin and over-the-counter OTC crypto trading, aiming to enhance investor protection within the crypto industry. Discussions about stablecoin regulation specifically commenced in January 2022 in the region. These involved presenting policy-related questions and outlining potential regulatory outcomes, ranging from taking no action to implementing a blanket ban. In October, Hong Kong regulators imposed restrictions on trading certain stablecoins like Tether and USD coin for retail investors, citing risks. They stated that retail trading of stablecoins would only be allowed once they were formally regulated. Follow us on Google News.